Uh, just to give you a feeling for the role of uh, copper prices, this is copper prices, inflation taken out, uh, and contrasting that to employment at the white pine mine uh, uh, to, your, to your south, although uh, it turns out that uh, Houghton County uh, 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 was impacted by, by that mining. Uh, notice that when the mine was open, uh, copper prices were steeply rising. They took a huge dive, but recovered and rose again, almost, in fact, back to peak levels. And that's when the employment at the mine reached its peak. Uh, copper prices then took a very steep dive, and the mine largely shut down. Copper prices recovered, the mine recovered, copper prices took a dive again, the mine shut down. Uh, copper prices matter, metal uh, prices matter, but the history over the 20th century into the first 20th century doesn't give us much hope that the prices will ever be stable. Yet every projection that has ever made for a proposed copper mine, or silver mine, or gold mine, or uranium mine, always projects employment and tax payments and payroll on the assumption that copper prices will be steady and that production will be steady. Uh, that is a wonderful dream. Uh, that's not the reality. Uh, notice I have some question marks here as to where prices are headed. During this period, in the uh, early 2000s, or I guess, I suppose to call them the aughts, now that we've moved beyond into the teens, uh, we need new language in terms of what early 2000s thing. But this, this run up, in not just copper prices, nickel prices, uranium prices, gold prices, silver prices, uh, was taken as evidence that we're in a new world. This is a permanent, long-run trend tied to the development of China and, to a certain extent, India. And now prices are going to be steady. Well, uh, there's been a couple of hiccups that uh, suggest that may not be the case. And the slowdown in the Chinese economy uh, tend, tends to reinforce that. If one looks at what actually was being produced uh, by uh, uh, copper industry in the United States, again, going back to 1900 and coming forward to 2010, that's not encouraging either. To the extent that employment is tied to the level of production, both in the mines and the processing facilities, what the negative numbers down here indicate is the depth of the fall from the previous high points. Uh, notice that there that that's just highlighting some of the biggest declines, the biggest hiccups. Uh, that's the flicker that economists are worried about, is what do communities do when this is going on? Uh, how do households cope? How do businesses that depend on those households cope? How do governments cope? That sort of instability is part of the uh, metal markets, international metal markets, uh, uh, into, into which any copper mine or gold or silver mine or uranium mine uh, has to operate. 